What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness here at the original Metroflex Gym, Arlington, Texas, getting some bench work in with my man Stephen Marino, owner of Metroflex Gear, giving me a spot here. I put a lot of information in the description box in case you guys are wondering what I'm wearing, what shirt, what hat, what elbow sleeves, what wrist straps, and what bar I'm about to use at the end of this video. This is kind of a promotion video, but it's more along the lines of holy shit, I had never in a million years realized that this bar that I'm about to use at the end of this video would create so much more fluid movement in the press, I can almost guarantee you I'm gonna use it every time I go medium to medium heavy. Now, let me move on to this exercise. 315, three sets of five, and I had the biggest struggle getting up to this weight. Started out with a bar, started out with a bar and a quarter, then went with a wheel, wheel and a quarter, two wheels, two wheels and a quarter, and I finally got warm enough to press 315, felt pretty good, Got a little cocky and told him to pause for 10 seconds and let me know when to push. And that was the best I had felt in a long time on a bench, still with lots of elbow pain. He said, Big J, I've got this Rhino Flex bar. I want you to try it out. I said, nope, I don't want to try anything new. I've been doing this for longer than you've been alive. And he said, no, I'm telling you right now, I want you to try it. So I put a wheel on there, felt easy. Two wheels felt easy. Three wheels felt like 135 pounds. And look at what those four wheels feel like. Like butter. Now the bar only weighs nine or 10 pounds. That's why I went ahead and put a couple of dimes on each side. But that weight was loaded on the forearms and the biceps and the triceps and the lats and finally, inevitably, the chest. But I gotta say, this is not a sales video at all. I'm just letting you know, holy smacks, holy shit. I can't believe how good this weight felt. And yeah, I was burnt out because I pressed so many times, but I believe I could have went up to about 455, maybe even heavier. But Hey, what's up guys? Sorry for barging in the end of this video like this. I know you're all ready to move on to the next motivational workout video, but I did want to add two things. Firstly, thank you so much for your support. Secondly, in 35 years of lifting, I have never <laughs> felt the comfort of a bench press like I felt with that Rhino Flex bar. I'm telling you right now, I'm not trying to sell it. I'm giving you a discount code. The link is in the description box. I'm gonna buy one for myself for sure. However, if you're like me and have been doing it for a long time or you have injuries like myself, I broke 20 plus bones in an accident and I've had several surgeries on both shoulders and my left elbow, I gotta say, when you're bench pressing with the bar or any kind of workout with the bar, there's a lot of load on the joints and the tendons, obviously, okay? That's just the nature of the physics of the body. This bar did not load the joints like normal. I have no explanation with the exception of driving a Cadillac over potholes or driving a longer boat versus a shorter boat in waves. So smooth. I felt the bar load up the forearms, the bias and the tries. You guys know that the bias are the brakes and the tries are the gas on a bench press. And then the lats, obviously the lats are involved in a press. And then eventually the chest, the pecs. But I really feel like this is something that I'm probably gonna to continue to use in the future. Once again, not trying to sell it. Just want you guys to try it. If it's available at your gym, check it out. Throw a little bit of weight on there first because there is a little whip you gotta be careful of. Just like using a Texas deadlift bar, it comes up and it'll whip right out of your hands or rip your calluses. But try it out if you can. Till next time, Tensity Rose Train Hardcore. Thank you so much for listening to my advice and my opinion, and we'll see you next video.